so now we see about the photoelectric effect so photoelectric effect is one of the best concepts which supports the particle nature of light so already we know the light is having dual nature already we earlier discussed the light is having dual nature so what are the dual natures wave nature and particle nature so some properties well explained with the help of wave nature and there is some other properties which are well explained only by absorbing nothing but by applying particle nature so here the today's topic photoelectric effect which perfectly supports the particle nature of light so at first it was absorbed by heads it was absorbed experimentally at first it was absorbed by scientists heads so what is photoelectric effect the photoelectric effect means the ejection of the ejection of electrons from a metal surface the ejection of electrons or electron from a metal surface when a beam of light with suitable frequency so what is suitable light in terms of frequency and in terms of wavelength we can define uh, any one the light with a suitable frequency fall on its uh, surface so here the ejection of electron ejection of electron means uh, coming out of electron means electrons are simply coming out from a metal surface when a beam of light with sufficient frequency or in terms of uh, wavelength also we can write that is sufficient light and then sufficient wavelength and all the sufficient frequency will like fall on its surface and okay, for example we are taking a metal Uh, take this is a metal piece, nothing but a metal foil. A beam of light with a sufficient frequency. The sufficient frequency now. So what is sufficient frequency? We will uh, explain after this. So a beam of light passed on it. So this is metal. A metal surface by a a beam of light from which one? This is a beam of light. A beam of light from which say there is releasing of electrons immediately without any delay. I put it in ray. A beam of light then that touch or strike or do so. At the immediate instant, then is the the electrons are ejected from the atoms of metal present at the surface. The first, uh, the A atoms when uh, we strike out a beam of light, uh, the atoms present on the surface of the metal. So, on surface of the metal, by the beam of light, which number two, there is ejection of electron from the surface of metal atoms. The surface of the metal atoms of the electrons eject out. So that is the ejection of electron from a metal surface when a beam of light with suitable or at least sufficient frequency or wavelength fall on its surface means it is totally a surface phenomenon it is totally a surface phenomenon not the bulk phenomena 
मैं इन पार्ट को डिस्कसान क्या ओनली दर्फे एलक्ट्रॉन रिजे इट इज कॉल सर्फे फिनाम ओके सो दिशाग्रम कैन बी एक्सप्लेन इन अदर वर्ड्स टेक इट इज ए मेटल पीस इट इज टेकन इन ए वैक्यूम ट्यूब इट इज टेकन इन ए वैक्यूम ट्यूब सेम ए बीम ऑफ लाइट इज पॉस्ट ऑन इट the electrons are ejected from it here we are connecting to a battery and ammeter ammeter which uh, gives the information of uh, this electrons this gives the information of this electrons electrons means uh, they come towards the positive so here this is the metal one so by passing a beam of light on this metal surface the electrons are ejected from the atoms of that metal atoms atoms of that metal and the eject of ejected electrons come towards this ammeter so what is the purpose of here ammeter means uh, uh, it collects the electrons and gives information That how much? What is the quantity of electrons released here? With the help of ammeter reading, we are able to know the quantity of electrons here. Okay, this is photoelectric effect. So this was at first uh, in some experiment it was observed by scientist heads. Here important one. So what is suitable frequency? So the what is the suitable frequency means? we see the explanation now see for example ok metal is put up ok so a metal pipe ki edo oka light pumpichu ankonde so electrons release ho okay. In definition, we said that a minimum frequency of light, a suitable frequency of light travel. So suitable frequency of light travel at a, but for example, generally a metal is put at a. Generally taken metals are one A group metals. Then there are the alkali metals is put at for this purpose. Alkali metals are mainly potassium. rubidium cesium so last elements and what are the one elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium so in these uh, last element last elements uh, potassium rubidium cesium are perfectly suitable to observe the photoelectric effect and it is uh, uh, not applicable for uh, other metals like silver iron other magnesium calcium and it is not suitable the photoelectric effect perfectly observed by taking only this one a group alkali metals only because in alkali metals in their valency only one electron is present in alkali metals there is only one electron is present so only one electron is present so by losing that one electron they become very stable so they are always ready to lose their one electron because they are going to get uh, stability by losing the tire so by losing that uh, electron that's why the releases electron easily so photoelectric effect is absorbed in these metals only it is not at all suitable for iron silver gold mercury any metal only it is applicable for one a group metals okay see here suitable frequency means so every metal has certain uh, amount of energy so for example take the potassium so potassium which electron this here and at the frequency of light also means uh, uh, 
the frequency of the light must be x must be x hertz is anukunda the potential of electron tc ante frequency entha unna light pampichali x hertz is anukunda ati hex hertz is kante less undali for example mana pampichina light frequency x hertz is kante less unna pampichina ankonde there is no releasing of electron means okoka metal ki mari anniki x value untada rubidium ki x e untada cesium ki x e untada so it is a characteristic property it is a characteristic property of that metal that is called a threshold frequency and the every metal every metal has a specific a specific frequency of light or lambda of light to eject its electrons every metal has a specific frequency of light to eject its electrons ante okoka metal ki okoka frequency gaane okoka wavelength gaane untadi so ఆ రిలేటెడ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉన్న లైట్ ఆ రిలేటెడ్ ల్యాండా ఉన్న లైట్ ను పంపిస్తే దాని నుంచి ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ బయటకు వస్తాయి ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ ఆఫ్ మెటల్ సో దాన్ని ఏమంటామంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ ఆఫ్ మెటల్ ఒక మెటల్ కి ఇంకో మెటల్ కి డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెన్స్ గా ఉంటుంది సో దానికి సంబంధించిన ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉన్న మినిమం ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఉన్న లైట్ పంపిస్తే దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ పాసిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ ఎజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ సో దానికంటే తక్కువ ఉన్న ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ అంటే దానికంటే తక్కువ ఎనర్జీ ఉందని పంపించాం అనుకోండి దెర్ ఇస్ నో అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోటో ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఎఫెక్ట్ సో దట్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ద మినిమం ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ మినిమం ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఆఫ్ లైట్ టు ఎజెక్ట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ from a metal from a metal surface is called uh, it's a threshold frequency is called threshold frequency and i mean on the frequency no light to a metal me the pump is then that no telephone is eject out it and the photoelectric effect uh, observe out it and observe we are able to observe the photoelectric effect when the threshold a minimum threshold frequency of light is passed on the metal surface a threshold frequency even to now new not for a metal and to the man and pump it to light frequency so passing light frequency and the kunam nu so nu equal to nu not sorry nu equal to nu not photoelectric effect possible out nu is greater than nu not and the minimum frequency kante ekko frequency na light pampichinam so appudu photoelectric effect possible out if mana pampichina light and mana metal pampichina light frequency is less than nu not okay less than nu not and both is a no photoelectric effect is observed okay so this is the main condition for photoelectric effect so it was at first observed by the heads and afterwards so after nearly 8 to 20 years of uh, the introducing of this photoelectric effect by heads so einstein also given a uh, his uh, his own explanation for this uh, photoelectric effect okay now we see that part now
So, this is the Einstein explanation for it. So, according to Einstein said that, so every atom, just we are taking the example, every atom is having attraction force of its electrons. To remove that electrons, it needs some energy. That's why to remove an electron, nothing but for the ejection of an electron from the metal atom, metal surface atom, compulsory it requires some energy. So what is the energy? What is the energy required to remove that electron? So take a simple uh, extra simple point in that. So atoms alone electrons compulsory, they are under the attraction of nucleus. So atom alone uh, electrons are may nucleus attraction alone. A nucleus attraction the electrons eject to electron, some energy is required. And the energy on the light down pen energy on the light the electron will be ejected. Okay. So for, uh, for example, we take energy of uh, positive light. According to quantum theory, we know that uh, Planck's quantum theory E is equal h nu. So the energy of positive light say h nu. Now, energy need to eject electron from an atom of a metal, say h nu naught. And we know the new naught is threshold frequency. If the both energies become equal, same. See, in the form of frequency terms, you know. Now we are explaining it in terms of the energy. If you H nu, man, pump it through light energy is equal to energy required to eject the electron. And the electron eject through that means that 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 energy is also that energy is light to pump it through. So, if the photoelectric just No light pump is say electrons just eject out there. H nu equal H nu naught just electrons are ejected. If just electrons eject out there. If this is called threshold energy or threshold uh, nu naught is threshold frequency. This is called threshold energy or is also known as work function W. It's called work function W of that metal. Work function W naught of metal. Work function means uh, the minimum energy required to eject the the minimum energy required to eject the electrons from the atoms of a metal surface. Of a metal atoms from which electron eject to yarn then minimum nth energy of sound that is equal to W naught work function that is equal H nu naught. Okay, H nu man pump it in a light energy. Both are equal to just electrons are ejected. If H nu is less than H nu naught, then no man pump it in a fast it's a light energy is less than H nu naught. There is no photoelectric effect. Means no electrons are ejected. No electrons are ejected. If uh, if H nu is uh, greater than H nu naught, then there is also possibility of ejection of electrons. So, what about the remaining energy? Exactly same energy this time. Oh, electrons are simply ejected out. Metal is ejected out outside of this thing. Less than one energy pump is there, electrons bite to the charge slave. And then if more energy passes, so ejection of electrons is already out there. But the extra energy, the extra energy of this light is used for kinetic energy of light. And to equa frequency, nothing but equa energy of light pump is there. And the electron just bite to the other, what kinetic energy improves. Means from this total information, 
the equation is given is h nu is equal to h nu naught plus k e. Okay. H nu is uh, the energy positive h nu naught work function. So kinetic energy. The same in the energy is the kinetic energy is zero. And e condition lo kinetic energy is zero. And if you give the more frequency, frequency increases the automatic energy increase out of it. Energy increase in the kinetic energy of electron also increases. So this is the basic equation for so this is the basic equation for photoelectric effect. Now we see detailedly about this equation again. Okay. So this is the one of the most important topics in atomic structure which is having a different type of problems. Okay, the basic equation is here. H nu is equal to H nu naught plus kinetic energy. So it can be written as H nu is equal to in the place of H nu naught we know the work function that we know it plus kinetic energy or it can be written as H nu naught plus sorry so from equation 1 Again, we can write the differences in the energy H nu minus H nu naught equal to kinetic energy. Okay, kinetic energy as we are able to find the kinetic energy of electrons, of uh, ejected electrons. You can ejected electrons name. The ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. H2 minus H2 naught, this take the H common. So nu minus nu naught equal to K. And we can write uh, the K is equal to H. And we know that what is the nu? Equals C by lambda minus C by lambda naught. Finally, we can write C also common. So 1 by lambda minus. 1 by lambda naught. So these are the different equations uh, or applications of the first equation. So we need to use different equations based on the given problem and based on the given details in the problem. So and even we can write this as a let's see nu bar minus nu naught bar this is in terms of a uh, wave number this is in terms of wavelength this is in terms of frequency okay next uh, equation one can be written as h nu equal h nu naught plus of mv square that is we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square so this is the one of the forms of uh, this energy Okay, here we know what is H, H equal Planck's constant, this is Planck's constant, new frequency, positive light frequency, nu naught, nu is uh, positive light frequency, nu naught threshold frequency here m is mass of electron now 
v is a velocity of electron okay so again the very important point here is for example if uh, we are saying that uh, the h n is greater than h n not means uh, if the energy of uh, positive light is more than the threshold energy nothing but work function then the extra energy of the positive light used for the purpose of kinetic energy at a use cells the ausram energy kind of manam extra energy unna light pampiste a extra light den ki use avutadi that extra energy of that light is used for the kinetic energy of light and eject an electrons speed ga move avadaniki a extra energy use avutadi ante gaatu extra energy pampichinu kabatti ekku electrons vachi charge le okay so based on that number of electrons uh, there is one interesting uh, criteria is there so that is c if h nu is equal h nu not kinetic energy of electrons zero and both are exactly equal so only electrons are eject out right then there is no movement no increase in the kinetic energy of electron if h nu is greater than h nu not man pumpkin light h nu not is more than h nu not and the positive light energy is more than work function at the time the kinetic energy of electrons increases and it will have extra energy of the positive light man pumpkin light lo na extra energy ah byte vachina electrons kinetic energy increase avadan use avutayi okay ikka the extra condition i have know that if if h u is h less than h u not there is no ejection of electrons as electrons eject out so this condition important uh, if more energy is positive than the work function the kinetic energy of electrons ejected is increased and the electron speed penchali ante that is frequency penchali to byte ko photo electrons the released electrons speed penchali ante and echo kinetic energy to move avante mana penchali sind akada frequency akada frequency increase chesthe frequency of positive light if frequency of positive light increases the kinetic energy of light increase kinetic energy of electrons increase avuthi so i got now for example if you want to get uh, more number of electrons just for the electrons eject avvalante and the number of electrons ekku eject avvali kinetic energy lo no change so appo it is directly proportional to intensity if intensity increases intensity of light intensity of light where energy of light where intensity means that is nothing but indicate the focus of light focus of light means which contains more number of photons photons ekkunna light ne antante ekku focus unna light nothing but intensity ekku undanta so intensity ekku undanta ante number of electrons increase the frequency of light increase chestaremo kinetic energy of electron increase avutadi adi focus intensity tension manaku light di intensity tension ante frequency lo no change wavelength lo no change just that the number of photons per unit area extra untay ekku untay so appu number of electrons increase avutadi so simply here we can write the we can conclude speed of ejected electrons is proportional to frequency of light frequency of light passed and number of electrons 
as it is proportional to intensity of light and the intensity increases the intensity of intensity of light increases the number of electrons increase hote frequency of current pump pitch light frequency increases the speed of ejected electrons increase hote okay. okay so this is the mainly photoelectric effect so the formulas must be practiced uh, to get the problems okay and we must uh, take care of uh, units of h and also energy units ఓకే మన దీంట్లో యూజ్ చేసే ఈ ఫార్ములాస్ యూజ్ చేసే ఎనర్జీ యూనిట్స్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ యూనిట్స్ వెలాసిటీ యూనిట్స్ పర్ఫెక్ట్గా మ్యాచ్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ఉంటే అన్ని ఎస్ఏ మెథడ్స్లో కానీ లేకపోతే అన్ని సీజీఎస్ మెథడ్స్లో కానీ ఉండాలి జనరల్లీ వీ విల్ గెట్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఓకే